Hello and greetings from Iceland, and again we go with the flow, but this time only for a short distance, since I covered the longer version in my last video about this volcano, and since then we have some new information worth sharing, and a new lava map as well, since I know that many of you like that kind of presentation of what is to come, and the south coast is the main attraction now, for the obvious reason that we are about to lose the south coast road under lava. And we just got the news today that uh, no attempts will be made to save the road. The fiber optic cable by the road was uh, dug deeper down, so the message is very clear. And we will go with the flow from there. So first of all, I'm not at all surprised why they want to try to stop the lava there. And the official explanation is cost and the fact that it is believed that uh, this is long term event, so barriers would just uh, burn up money. And uh, as far as I can understand about the farmhouse that I was photoshooting last week, those photos will be amongst the last photos shot of it. So it has literally been uh, written off, sadly for the landowners and of course for the many people that uh, have memories from there. And uh, this photo is shot from the intersection to the farmhouse facing the hill where the lava will be coming down, as it is predicted today. This is a view from the other side, looking downhill, and uh, then I want to show you this uh, new overview photo I just made, and the intersection is marked there with the red dot, and this time I added a new layer behind it, or this height model, which is a tool that I suspect that uh, I will have to use a lot more, and it's a good map, and you can even see the road fills under the south coast road, but the road administration might at some point uh, make a channel through the road, most likely just to shorten the part that will be rebuilt at some time point or after the eruption, whenever that might be, and they can perhaps control the flow a bit with the road, but the camera is facing west here, so we have the farmhouse on the coastal side, and there is this pretty big landfill under the road there. So it could work as a barrier for a while for the farmhouse. That side of the road can hold some lava, but I think it's only a few days. So it would not buy us a lot of time. And from there it would continue its journey down to the sea, where the next show would take place. Or just like I showed you in my last video about this. So this is the status now before the weekend. And I am planning to go south again. I'm going to wait for a few days more because uh, I want my workflow to be a bit more stable than the lava flow. And regarding the new barrier, that is diverting the lava from the so-called Nothaga Creek, where we definitely don't want to get the lava, it is still working, but they had to raise it a bit this week. And I did also find out that uh, when they built it, that construction was not approved by the municipality of uh, Grindavik. So the civil defense uh, bypassed some red tape. And there are some sad bureaucrats in Grindavik now that uh, missed the chance to push some papers between desks for uh, months. And my heart is full of compassion, but the barrier holds. And the lava that is coming down to Nothai Valley, it is very fast moving now and thin. I'm just hoping that my timing will be right, because there are some mixed views about uh, when the lava will hit the road, and that's when I want to be close by. And the latest forecast from today, Friday, is uh, four to seven days until the road goes and two weeks until it will get down to the sea. And the weather forecast now is a bit better than it has been. I have really wanted to make some good uh, time lapses, which is very hard when it's so cold and windy. But the lava flow is what uh, I'm going after now. And uh, there are plenty of uh, other related subjects as well to cover. Or... Uh, what volcano system will be the next one, since we know that if one of them takes off, something more will follow, according to history. So I am planning to stay a bit longer now, because I do also need lots of footage from the metropolitan area. That will be one of my focus points for the next months, where I will answer questions like, are we showing some forward thinking when it comes to building on lava fields? Or is this kind of uh, garden decoration just uh, a huge mistake? So making those videos is also a learning curve for me, 
Not just to make videos, but also to get to know my land better. After all, what sparked my interest in uh, theology are all of those uh, formations that I've been seeing around me, or the story behind them. And in the case of the Reykjanes Peninsula, formations that I will never see again. So, between my regular updates, you will get some side stories from the peninsula where I dig a bit deeper and play around with my camera. And with that, I'm sending you my wishes for a great weekend from North Iceland.